All right, well, we finally got a case for the uh, Studio Live 32 SC. All right, the case does not actually fit this console. And there are manufacturers who make uh, cases and for this particular console, uh, but they can be very expensive. So I opted to get a, another case uh, that was uh, much more affordable. And this case here was designed for a Midas M32 rack. All right, so this the back end of this mixer actually sits uh, a lot lower uh, than what the case was um, for the mixer for the case was designed for. So I, this is not actually supposed to be flat. This part here actually uh, sits up a little bit. I can show you right here. So on a flat surface, uh, you can tell it's got a slight angle to it. So what I need to try to do with this uh, other case is set up a slight angle on this case uh, that can best support the uh, console. All right, and modifying cases is, uh, I think it's something that a lot of people do. In fact, the uh, Allen Heath GL2400 that I have, that case was not designed for the Allen and Heath. It was actually designed for a Midas uh, M32, I believe, um, for a full-size console. So when I got that, I got a bunch of shock foam and I outfitted the, the floor and the lid in that case to support the, uh, that GL2400. This case right here, uh, I've got the, um, the uh, Allen Heath and QU16 in it. That case is not designed for the QU16, but it's a standard case and the QU16 sort of is uh, pretty much a standard size. So this case has worked out perfect for that uh, Q16. So hopefully we'll be able to do the same thing with the Epersonus with this particular case. All right, I'm confident that there's a few different ways to do this. All right, so what I need to do is get the uh, the back end of the console to sit up higher. And I'm on very limited room in here. All right, we're going to use. Um, some shock foam. I don't know how well this is showing up here on the camera, but uh, as you can tell here where the rack is and then compared to where the uh, rail is over here. Uh, this is actually getting pretty close. The uh, maximum height that this can go up uh, is about 12 inches. So if we look at this here, I can probably get safely another um, maybe inch, inch and a half out of it. All right, let me see about uh, maybe raising it a little bit higher. So the shock foam uh, is actually for the, uh, the console to rest on. And once it's resting on there, then I would use uh, some longer bolts uh, to hold the console in place. Uh, so the shock foam is not just to raise it up. It is, but it's also for the console to actually sit on. All right, I got into my uh, extra shock foam I've got laying around. So I think, um, I think I'm going to try this.
let's uh, try to tack this down. It's sitting, um, the console sitting a bit more forward from where the uh, rail is, which is fine. I just want to check for uh, the uh, front and rear distance. So I'd like to have more room in the back than in the front. But with this type of case, I don't want to uh, have this too far forward because that lip, somebody putting on, that lip could uh, damage the front of the uh, console. It's not, it's not tight, but it's snug. I think the distance should be fine. This case is a bit high for uh, uh, for me to work on it. Actually, I may uh, move the case below it so I can drop this down, make it a little bit easier to work on. All right, so all right, so with the um, with the sides in place uh, and they are secured to that bottom rail. Now I'm going to take some uh, probably take some black wood screws and just probably a couple of them into here, and then that will secure the top part of the rail to the wood and the wood is secured to the bottom rail. And the back of it uh, still feels like there's a little bit of weight on the back of it, which is fine, uh, meaning weight on the um, shock foam. All right, another thing I'm thinking of doing uh, if I'm having an issue with, the, uh, with those wood uh, blocks in there to um, add to the angle is I've got some of these uh, longer uh, rack screws. Now these longer rack screws are pretty nice. So these may be okay with um, keeping the tension on the uh, on the console, keeping it pushing down so that it um, there's always force going down on the back of the uh, on the back of the console where it's resting on the shock foam. So I said there can be a few different ways of doing this. Oh boy, yeah, that is solid. That actually may be the, the better route to go. All right, I uh, said so I've tried a couple of different things. I need to, I'll go ahead and paint the, the wood blocks, get those set up. Uh, just in case this doesn't work. I think I'm going to start with this setup here with the uh, four rack screws pushing down on it onto the uh, shock foam. I think that's going to work. All right. So the trick with this is to get the glue all the way to the edge. Because a lot of problems with the uh, foam coming up usually starts on the edge where it just starts either peeling or something happens it gets knocked or bumped and then the uh, anyway the foam just starts peeling back okay I'm going to sit on there move it around a little bit All right. Move it into position. Alright, I think we're going to let this dry, uh, probably take uh, 
24 hours, so. All right, the phone is glued. All right, with the console sitting up high enough, there's a lot of room down here, uh, which I actually like because I still get a lot of airflow through here uh, that allows the cooling, but also it leaves this area open over here for the cables to sit in. All right, I think that's going to do it. I, and I think I'm going to choose for right now this option in securing this, uh, the console to the case. Um, these screws back here, now these did not go in at an angle. They're, these screws are still going straight down, but they're pretty much at the limit of the opening here in the rail. And with the, uh, the shock pad supported in the rear, uh, this, is, this is in here really tight. So I think I'm going to go with this. I'll still keep the, uh, the wood blocks. Uh, around just in case. Um, I usually prefer to have something else in here, but I think this is going to do just fine. All right, that's not bad. So including that uh, BNC connector, including the height of that, I have 10 inches here, a little over uh, 10 inches. So that gives me uh, two extra inches at the top. All right, looks good. All right, now at the front of the case here, there is there's a lot of room underneath here, which is actually pretty good because it'll give me some place where I can put uh, the song sheet, track list, other stuff like that, keep it out of the way. All right, we've added uh, just a couple of things since the last time I'm doing the video. Uh, I've got some vented uh, filler plates in here. So I've added a hook. This is a 1U and I've added the hook on the, uh, actually on the inside of it. And it just holds uh, this 150-foot uh, Ethercon digital snake. Just sits right in there, and I've got um, actually I've got some other shorter cable sitting down here. Anyway, uh, I would have much rather have uh, turned it around to make it a lot easier to get to, but uh, the door depths are not as deep. All right, so uh, instead of keeping a cable in a case someplace, we just have everything where it needs to be. All right, thanks for watching.